Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lionhearts and today we're going to be taking some time to talk about Face It. Now obviously we're going through a very tumultuous time in Counter-Strike. We were seeing a mass exodus of players leaving Premier and Competitive and looking for other means to get that fixed when it comes to playing Counter-Strike. And with Face It being the largest and most accessible third-party platform we have, there's a lot of people wondering if they should be making the switch. The thing is, is that Face It is not a one-to-one -one replacement for Premier or Competitive. They are very different products, with different communities, with different strengths and different weaknesses. And my main worry is that right now the discussion around Faces seems to be that people are selling Faces purely as, this is the product you play if you don't want to deal with cheaters. But there's so much more to the platform and how it's played differently than regular Counter-Strike that we may be unintentionally creating a trap for new or inexperienced players here. So today, we're going to talk about what Face It really is and whether or not making the Switch is the right choice for you. But before we do, make sure you guys take a second, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps out immensely in the YouTube algorithm, and I appreciate it greatly. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm very thankful for the support. At first, it was 1,000 subscribers. The next step, the world. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and let's keep up the growth together. Also, while you're down there, consider becoming a channel member. For 5 bucks a month, you can support me directly in what I do here, get access to exclusive emblems, emotes, and more features coming soon, as well as a shout-out at the end of every video. And finally, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lionhearts1337. I stream Sunday through Friday, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come, give me some support, and let's get back to the video. Alright, first things first, let's talk about what Face It actually is. Face It is a vehicle to play Counter-Strike at a more competitive level, in theory, than what is available in-game. The appeal of Face It is that, in theory, you can climb the ranks, reach the top of the Face It matchmaking, and then get attracted through interleague events, or being discovered by other players, you can make it into FPL or Face It Pro League. Face It is designed so that in theory anybody can join from rank 0 and make it up to where they are playing with other pros and streamers. Which is cool, it's a great idea. However, that also means that Face It is an inherently more competitive and more serious environment where the average player is really trying to push themselves and improve. And what I think that leads to, unfortunately, is a more toxic environment. Now, I'm not saying that every phase of game you play, you're going to run into toxic people. That's not fair. However, if you have bad games on Face It, I think on average, you're more likely to see people react negatively to you than you would in competitive or premiere. It's unfortunately just a reality of that platform. And another consequence of that is that Face It is much less friendly to new players or players who are still trying to learn new things. I think one of the worst things we could do as a community right now is create the perception that, hey, premiere, competitive, it's so bad, you want to go play Face It. And then a new player comes along, they see that messaging, and they're like, okay, I'm going to download Face It to be able to play Counter-Strike the best way I can. And then you have a new player going into Face It with no game knowledge, just to run into other players who are going to criticize them for that lack of game knowledge. That's going to create a bad feedback loop where I think we're going to turn away a lot of new players. For better or for worse, there's a certain amount of baked-in barrier to entry to something like Face It that we need to make sure is very well advertised. We don't want to turn off players before they really get invested in the Counter-Strike. We need to keep encouraging new players to keep coming in. So with that being said, what kind of players should be looking to get into Face It? Well firstly, I think you need to be the type of player who is driven to want to improve. Because you're going to be playing players who are better than you a lot more often than you would in traditional matchmaking. The average level of competition is just significantly higher per match than what you would experience in Premier or Competitive. So if you're someone who is more into kind of the casual competitive experience, it's just looking to kind of scratch that competitive itch, but you're not necessarily concerned about your winning and losing, you're just here to play, have a good time, but also get that competitive experience in, then I don't think Face It is the right place for you. This is the environment where players are just more likely to take things more seriously, losses are going to hang a little heavier, and more importantly, mistakes are going to be much more criticized. So if any of that bothers you, then Face It is not the answer. And now, I don't want to derail this video with a tangent about cheating, but there's an unavoidable thing that I have to address. The reality is, there is a certain level of player where cheating is just not as significant of an issue as is being described by better players currently. Now, I can't say anything definitive about regular competitive, because there's so much rank congestion that I can't really make the call about how many cheaters people were experiencing, how many cheaters I'm seeing in my own personal games, Frankly, competitive is just such a crapshoot where you're dealing with so many players that are just either smurfing or don't know what they're doing that you really can't tell the difference half the time. It's just a mess. Competitive is a mess. But when it comes to Premiere, I think we could be a little more definitive. The reality is, in Premiere, 
Cheating does not become a significant issue until you get around 20k or higher. Based on everything we know and based on my own anecdotal experience, I can tell you with my several hundred games of Premiere, I did not see cheating become a significant issue until I was up towards 18k or more. Once I was getting close to 20, as soon as I started hovering around 13 to 15 when I stopped playing Premiere as much, I saw cheaters just way less often. So if you're looking to face it and you're like, I don't want to play cheaters anymore, and you feel like all you're doing is playing cheaters, but you're someone who's in that 10 to 15k range, I feel like you might have a perception issue going on because cheating just is not as significant at those ranks as you may think it is. Now, with that being said, if you think Face It is going to give you the experience that you want, where you just don't want to have to worry about it, your perception is Face It is it has zero cheaters, zero issues, it's the cleaner matchmaking experience, and that's what you want, then by all means do it. I'm just letting you know that that's not necessarily the case. Face It doesn't necessarily have a stronger anti-cheat. The difference is, is that Face is able to actively monitor and admin all of its matches in near real time, something that Valve does not have the resources to do so. So, so they're able to clean up right on top of their anti-cheat and keep the environment as clean as possible. Alright, so you're a new player and you want to get into Face It. What should you be doing to make sure that your Face It experience is as good as it possibly can be? Well, firstly, I wouldn't make the jump right away to face it. Take some time, learn all of the competitive maps to at least a nice basic level. Take some time, learn some basic setups for the maps that you like, figure out if there are any maps that you really don't like so that you know what you can pick ban around, and go in with a good base level of knowledge. Don't worry so much about your aim, that's something that you will improve on over time. Work on being someone who's good at understanding the map, understanding smokes and flash timings, because one, that gives you a huge advantage over most of your competition, and two, it means that if you're not having the best game in terms of fragging, you can still be useful to your team and try and affect outcomes. In reality, this is one of the best ways to play the game in general. If you take the time to become the guy who is the most useful for setups, you're going to become invaluable in whatever game mode you decide to play. Because here's the thing, right? Everybody wants to be the guy who just swings out and takes people's heads off, but there's only so many roles to play. There's only so many angles to swing. There needs to be somebody who plays for the team, throws the flashes, sets up the smokes, and if you don't have those, it's so much harder to play the game. How many times have you been stuck on a T-side where nobody says anything, nobody wants to do any setups, nobody wants to throw that smoke to cover window on Mirage, and you guys are just taking swings into ops, into crossfires, and you're getting absolutely destroyed? Unfortunately, despite Face It being this platform where players in theory are playing the game more seriously, it doesn't mean that people are playing any less selfishly. You're going to run into the same shit that you currently run into when you boot up competitive or premiere. Players aren't going to talk. Players aren't going to want to smoke. They're not going to want to flash. And guess what? If you're the guy who does that, guess what? You've done so much more to affect your team winning the game than you could if you just tried to frag like everybody else. Anyways, that's about all I got to talk about. I just want to take some time to talk about Face It a little more in depth because there's definitely a lot of attention on it right now. And I found it really interesting how we were mainly focusing on the anti-cheat aspect and not just how different Face It can be from normal matchmaking in general. I want to make sure the expectations are correct for new people going in so that they get the product that they want. Also, just as like a final note, you don't need to buy Face It Premium. Not necessary. As far as I know, it doesn't really give you any significant advantages. It just gives you access to more of like the reward stuff. I believe some slight faster matchmaking preferences, you're more likely to be the guy doing the map pick ban, but like none of that's necessary, you don't need it, so try face it for free, see if you like it, and if you really like it, then consider getting premium. For reference, I play face it 3-4 nights a week on stream, I don't actually own face it premium myself, I don't personally see the need for it, so take that for what it is. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about face it in the comments down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to my channel members, Furley, Justin, and Jesse. Without you guys, this stuff wouldn't happen. Once again, a big thank you for a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate it. Let's keep moving on to the next milestone. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Ooh, peace.